You know, there's so much innovation here in the U.S. that it's sometimes easy to forget that researchers develop technologies all around the world. Well, that's why folks here at the Tech hold an annual awards event that celebrates those innovators and their technologies that sometimes may just surprise you. Here's Christina King. Not far beneath the sea's surface, a strange looking man-made reef is laid to rest on the ocean floor. It's one of millions of so-called reef balls being used to replace the real thing, destroyed by mother nature and man. These new homes for marine life were created to protect our marine ecosystems, and they got their start in an unusual way. It all started actually when I was a management consulting, consultant and I used to travel to the Cayman Islands every year and take pictures of a coral reef that was growing slowly over time. And a hurricane came and wiped my little reef out so I couldn't measure how fast they were growing anymore. And so I just came up with a crazy idea of you know, taking a beach ball and putting some concrete around it and floating it out and puncturing the beach ball and you know, starting a little reef. Todd Barber and his nonprofit Reef Ball Foundation is one of 25 organizations honored by the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose, California. The awards program recognizes people, companies, or organizations around the world that use technology to solve global challenges. The museum honors innovators in the categories of education, equality, environment, economic development, and health. All of the laureates showcased in one setting. It's like the International Tech